The purpose of Free Thought Forum is to be vigilant to the encroachment of religion into government and to educate the general public as to what a free thinker is. My thoughts give me power. No scholar can map them. No hunter can trap them. No person can deny. No person can Hello, and welcome to Free Thought Forum. I'm Catherine Farringer, the producer of this show. And I have a sidekick with me today, Sally Chizik, who is sort of co-host, you might say. We're just going to sit here and talk about things that annoy us. Uh, as I said, we used to, and we still will, of course, have people from the community. I like to keep track of what's going on out there and show them that we're part of it. We're taxpayers and decent citizens. But I just felt like having a little sort of in-house do. So four programs are devoted to in-house stuff, meaning free thought subjects. And today we're going to talk about religion and the media. Sally, what do you have to contribute to that? And I see well, a little file. <laughs> At least you remembered my name this time. <laughs> I didn't forget it last time. I forgot the boom box. <laughs> well, I went through the newspaper. I went through Saturday, May the 6th, although you can you know, get any one and you will come up with some yeah. of the same results. Mm. And it seems like they devote an awful lot of space to religion, which most people, if they're rational at all, don't find that a very logical subject. Mm. Oh, and for it to be so prominent in the newspaper, that's one of the things that makes me mad. Well, um, they have this section called uh, religion, but I noticed it on Saturday it tends to spread into the metro and the front page and everywhere else, the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Anytime, well. anytime you uh, pick up the newspaper, it does. even though they have a religious section, which oh. is four <laughs> pages, uh, you know, it's not unusual to have the front page full of stuff and yeah. uh, including, you know, sightings of uh, Jesus and the Virgin of Guadalupe in this area, mm. uh, the Virgin Mary somewhere else. And uh, they, uh, they give it a legitimacy that I don't think that is warranted. I, well, I don't either, and I especially don't think that the Pope deserves to be uh, on the front page or the front yeah. page of Metro in full living color. You get Bishop Spong, who comes to speak to here to to us here in the city about uh, his uh, rational kind of religion. He's got that one step to take, but he's taken a lot. <laughs> and where does he get positioned in the paper? Right on the obit page, <laughs> and uh, in black and white, of course. Small article, but the Pope gets the front Not page. to mention that uh, after having been invited to speak at the uh, Methodist Church, was yeah, it? Well, that one downtown yeah. that's not the Episcopal Church, that uh, other one yeah, across well, from St. Anthony, whatever it is. <laughs> and uh, then getting disinvited. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, probably some of the parishioners thought, yeah. oh, that we just can't have anyone yeah. with a different point of view. I know. Yeah, so they're, they're very paranoid. But I just, I just picked out from this paper the things that uh, are pertain to religion. Okay, oh, this is page uh, two. Yeah, page two. Big, of, uh, big... Uh, bomber, bl bomber blessing? I missed that. Yeah, what the bomber bl blessing. Who's blessing a bomber and for what reason? Well, just, I guess it won't fall down, but <laughs> it's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if they made bombers to make bombs that fell down and killed people. Yeah, but this is, of course, idea. in southern Russia. Yeah. And, uh, oh, they're getting so religious Oh, now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's so true. Religious. I said I liked them better when they were atheists. Yeah, I <laughs> did too. Uh, so a priest blessed a new uh, Tupolev 160 bomber. Uh, you know, that's, and, and look. It's pretty, pretty I mean, impressive. That's quite yes, a little outfit he's wearing But it wearing evidently, there. you know, was a big deal. Yeah. And, and blessing it, so what? So it'll bomb somebody a little no. bit harder or oh, or just not fall out of the sky, one of the, one or the other. <laughs> yeah. and, but they still fall out of the sky, don't they? Yes, they okay, do. Okay, that was uh, page two. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the religion section. Well, that's very game on Saturday. God's country. Of course, it would God's be. country. And uh -huh. that's page one. And two, and all of these worship service telling you where to go. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I wonder if and they pay I for bet that. you that they you don't they, they don't pay. pay for that. I doubt if they pay for that. Well, they make you pay for your own old bit now, which I think is pretty. Well, tacky. that yeah. You know that used to be free. So did marriages. I, but I don't remember can't. that ever being free. Oh yes, yeah, okay. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you yes. better believe it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's another one on religion. Mm -hmm. And well, so we're talking. Then of course we have our usual Dr. Billy Graham. Excuse me. And. Uh -huh. Let me, while you're doing that, can I just see yeah, sure. back again? I want to look And here's something. Billy Graham, and I just wonder if he There's, doesn't just chuckle to himself when he answers some of these things. Do you think he even answers them? No, probably has I wrote him a letter, and I got a letter from somebody in his, whatever you call it, entourage or whatever, but Billy didn't personally write me. But he always knows what God is thinking. Oh, yeah, I know. And, yeah. and I mean, he is, and he says it certain, for certain. There's nothing wrong with liking sports. And oh, the, well, that's and, good. That's good. Fred will be the, glad that he And he, he says that the Bible also has uses the, a lot of illustrations yeah. about sports. As I recall, now here is this uh, section I asked to see again. And I, I would also like to bring in the polling sites, which are printed here, oh, yeah. which is a very nice service that the paper offers us. However, this is free advertising for churches, which also serve as polling places and they get paid don't think they're doing it out of the goodness of their heart a few do but most of them get paid not only do they get paid they get a lot of free advertising uh, come here and uh, and vote and Catherine and something else that's interesting is that they get to name their own price yeah yeah well, they so if they want six hundred dollars or seven hundred dollars yeah. they just say they, how much they want well, and then nice. the city pays. I, yeah, I did. Yeah. I went down to the, whatever you call it, the voting place, and I got copies of some of their agreements with churches. And there was one, I think, got $650, which I thought was kind of piggy. The rest of them were around 350 And most of them were, and a lot of them were, were a little below that. Mm -hmm. So there you are. Yeah, right. Religion and the media, just hand in glove. And, and most else? of the time, they don't take down any of their religious icons or, oh, or messages. Oh, that's a sore point with me. Oh, yes, ma'am. Voted right after Easter a few years ago. And there were those big crosses veiled in some kind of oh, filmy. Course. Right. Yeah. I could have touched it. It was right there by the little polling stand. Yeah. I mean, the what did I say? Well, voting you, stand. You Excuse might have me, disappeared had you done that. I uh, might have. Yeah. Well, anyway, the paper, me. this is still the, that same paper, uh -huh. and you can see that I've uh, colored One whatever. Paper, it's got, yeah, yeah all it's that just full stuff. of it. Some things are, of course, of interest to everybody, you know, uh -huh. like the uh, tribute to the Cardinal. Well, that is big news. You know, he was yeah. very I'm, famous. I'm glad they didn't have his picture from yeah. the one I saw was lying in his casket taken from above. No. Uh, well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see, see that. any, any, reasoning for that at all and then of course you've got uh, all these religious wars oh I know nobody ever are, really uh, right like uh, the Filipino village even they the reason they took those hostages decapitated some of them killed some of them mm -hmm. it's because they want an independent Islamic nation okay so that's what you do to get it yeah and of course the Irish that's been going on for oh, for, for years seems like forever yeah my and, entire uh, lifetime, surely. Right. That was, most, some of the letters also oh, to the editor are, oh, are about there. religion, but um, that's not near as bad because at least someone's given their opinion. Right, yeah. right. They do and, yeah. tend but, to choose uh, kind of wimpy ones. You just ones. take any, any paper, you know, any mm -hmm. day, yeah. and you will find it full. If you were to take all that out, it wouldn't take you five minutes to read the paper. <laughs> that's about okay. right. You got it. Now, what else do you have? Well, uh, another thing that I was wanted to mm -hmm. talk about was the uh, all of these religions that are apologizing for wrongs of the past, mm. uh, hor some horrible things that happened in the past, which the Catholics call errors, errors yeah. that were made. Errors. Yeah, right. And uh, I, I, I have this article here by J. E. Hill. And I'm just going to, if you don't mind, read a few things that he points out mm -hmm. that I think are interesting. Uh, the new trend in Christian religiousness seems to be the apology. Uh, it says the, the, they're seeking atonement for past actions of their church. They think that all they need to do is give lip service 
to make 1,700 years of mass murder, oppression, and torture just vanish into thin air. Mm -hmm. And then it goes on, but I'm, I'm only going to touch on some things. Uh, the problem, however, is that just this. In their apology, they're making excuses and place blame instead of coming out and just admit it, admitting that this was wrong and pledging that it will never happen again. Uh, he says there's three excuses that they use for things that have happened. They say one. The perpetrators of these crimes against humanity were not using the scriptures, but a selfish interpretation to achieve earthly goals. Two, I like this one. Satan caused the church to sin in God's <laughs> name. <laughs> yeah, that old Satan, I tell you, blame everything on him. Uh, he has a lot of power, doesn't he? I mean, he said he has more than God. Well, what, yeah, he seems That's to really get his strange. way all the time, uh -huh. and God gets very little. Well, what is it? The squeaky wheel will get the grease. <laughs> <laughs> and three, they were not real, true Christians. Oh, of course not. And of course, all these assertions are <laughs> false. Not only were the people convinced that they were scripturally and divinely guided in both area and action, they used the Bible and scriptural references therein to reinforce and act upon their common conviction of the honesty, value, and righteousness of their work. They carried off their duties with dispatch and efficiency. Their records show a meticulous detail for procedural and biblical fairness as they carried out the divine commandments to purify the earth of infidels, heretics, witches, heathens, and intellectuals. <laughs> and then Satan celebrated one of his greatest triumphs by making the church sin in God's name. <laughs> If that's not one of the most ridiculous and bizarre suggestions sorry. that Christians could ever come up with. How are we to know when Satan might do this again? Moreover, how do we know it is not Satan deceiving us with this apology? They should apologize for that excuse alone. And, and the idea that people were not true Christ Christians is laughable. Yet, more and more today we hear this argument. The true error in this thinking is clear, especially in this country. Blasphemy is no longer a crime, witchcraft is not a crime, and if they were, this compassionate Christianity would soon be violent and oppressive. Uh, the evidence is quite clear from countries that are theocracies, such as Iran, Afghanistan, or Pakistan, that this can happen in our modern world. And as uh, Phil was saying in the program before us, that uh, that, that is the, what the Christians are trying to, especially fundamentalists, are trying to, that's their object here is to be a theocracy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Keen on it. Want one in this country? Bad. Well, I couldn't agree more with the author of that and with you when we say that that apology, I mean, that was so wimpy and so pathetic. And why don't they think to apologize for what they're doing right now that's a crime, a crime against women? for not wanting them to use birth control and not wanting them to get abortions. Now, I think we should apologize right now for something we're doing and change it while we can still change it. Why wait Why? 200 years and say, yeah. golly, we were wrong. Wow, I uh, guess it was Satan in there doing all that bad stuff, thinking up those ideas we had that life is sacred. Well, uh, what about all the uh, black collar crimes oh, that yeah. are still going on oh, today? Stupid. Yeah, you know what? I think it's a shame that uh, that uh, that column in the um, Free Thought Today, Free Thought Today being a magazine for free thinkers, um, it has it itemizes from all over the country. People send articles about priests and other uh, uh, clerics in this country who um, molest children, um, principally. Um, Little, uh, what do you call those little boys? Altar boys? Things? Yes, altar, altar boys. boys. <laughs> I start to say acolyte, that's in the Episcopal Church, and it really hadn't been too much bad there. The Episcopalians are too busy drinking, they don't get into the sex thing as often. But sometimes it will be two pages long, and we're talking about, I hate to use this word, but it is a technical term for the size of a paper, a newspaper, it's tabloid size. Everybody knows what that is. It's the size of the star, and that's the size of our publication. Um, and it will have two pages of articles from all over the country about priests and um, 
uh, choir leaders and other people that are affiliated and associated with, with, with religion on a regular basis and who are into it for, uh, you know, their life's work, uh, doing all this terrible molesting and having affairs with other, with uh, choir singers and other <laughs> dreadful the things. The organist, and, always the oh, organist. Oh yeah, the organist, does she get in all <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's a shame that that can't be uh, disseminated further than just the free thinkers, because people do not realize when they read about the two guys up in uh, where um, was it in not Bernie? I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, but somewhere in the hill insinuate country, insinuate that it was Julie's town. But, <laughs> <laughs> but someplace yeah. in the hill country, Sam there Green, was this yeah. uh, Greek Orthodox or Greek something or other church, and these two priests. Got it, and there was quite a quite a little scandal and lots of pieces in the paper about them. But people say, oh, "Well, it's such a rare thing." It's not a it's rare not thing. Rare. It's a publicity which, in mainstream media, is rare. You don't get it. It'd be little snippets like this that are sent out from members of uh, Freedom from Religion Foundation to the editor of Free Thought Today, and that's where she compiles that enormous two pages every month of uh, right. these uh, pedophiles by state, so it's happening all over. All over the yeah. country. Can't can't dwell on that long enough. Or right, and that do, does not make front page news. This makes mm -hmm. front page news. Oh, of course. Now, yeah. I saw, this is the, the, the Pope That's with, quite a, the, with a wooden or some sort of material made of man-made material. Mm -hmm. uh, He's getting just a thrill out of that thigh, isn't he? I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, and you didn't get to, I, the, I saw it on calf. TV, and he he was kissing that leg. Oh, yeah. And, and of course, in the picture here, it doesn't show it's that. It's very shapely. But, I wish yeah. I had a set of gams as good as that. That's a nice we calf. We humbly ask forgiveness. I said but thigh, for, but I meant but calf. They, they ask forgiveness for very little, though. Ah. And they just lump all these centuries oh, of yeah. things that have been going on into yeah, one we sentence. Yeah, we we, well, we made some errors. Well, I'm sure Galileo feels really good now yeah. that they have <laughs> confessed that he was right and they were wrong. Right. But they did that kind of wimply too, as I recall. Now I'm going to show just who makes Please. the cover on, on and I hope this isn't too, it's probably very, um, uh, what do I call it, Ref it's reflecting the light, I hope not, but there is, uh, I do believe that's US Jesus, News. he's got the, uh, yes, the crown of thorns. And he is the cover boy for U.S. News and World Report. Then we have the same cover boy, but he doesn't, he doesn't really look the same. But he made the cover of Time with his crown of thorns. And, uh, yes, they all went, this one's not crying. This one's kind of shedding a few tears. His crown hurts worse. What and are the titles had, of those, Catherine? Why Jesus Was Killed. And the other one is Jesus at 2000. I thought he volunteered. Well, I thought he was sort of, <laughs> you know, really pressed into it. He didn't have a lot of choice. He was God, so he gave the order. So, but he wasn't God because oh. God gave his only son. I don't, don't understand that. Don't confuse me, Sally. Don't yeah. confuse me. Here is prophecy. That's that's really good. This is Newsweek again, uh, November of last year. And then we have Jesus on the cover again. He is the favorite cover boy of Newsweek. Now I had piles more, I just couldn't find them. But uh, this is visions of Jesus, and that's exactly what they are, folks. They are visions. You are imagining things. There is no Jesus. Okay. No. But right. he's big time cover boy. Big time. Oh, I know. It's, uh, it's as if it were true. You know, this, yeah. all of this is if it were true. Well, they never say it, the alleged Jesus, or or he right. was alleged to have said, or it's always Jesus said, Jesus was born, Jesus died, like they're facts. But they Forget don't. It. He wasn't always born the same place, the same time. No. <laughs> but and also, you know, it, no one had ever seen him, but they yeah. all have. And when they when he appears to them, they recognize him because Sweet. he looks just like these pictures. Well, um, and of course, all the pictures look different. He's kind of wimpy looking here. He has no no thorns this time. This one's nice and plain. This is uh, and big, teary kind of soulful looking eyes. But he definitely here you would you would not think that uh, he was an Aryan because many of the Jesuses I've seen, the one I bought at a garage sale once, had yellow oh. hair. He wasn't and a blue blonde. eyes and blue blue, and blue piercing eyes, yeah. blue eyes. And how that happened, I don't know. Uh, from where he came, that was not the uh, standard uh, appearance. So. <laughs> no, they never bring any of that up. They yeah. Just, but everything is printed mm. as if it were the 
truth, the gospel, I was going to say, the truth. Yeah. And uh, why don't they at least, you know, disclaim, put a little disclaimer I on. know. If they could just say, well, Christians believe this or yes. something, just something. Right. That's right. That it wouldn't be so factual. But to put that kind of stuff in a news magazine is ridiculous unless they they uh, qualify it and uh, and say, we don't know, but this is the story. But this one looks kind of like a truck driver, don't you think? I mean, he's got kind of... <laughs> course features and that doesn't look like my idea of Jesus but then of course I don't have but, an idea right, of Jesus that's right it's an artist <laughs> nothing to fall back on yeah um, I just have one one letter that I cut out from the newspaper uh -huh. and it it it's from uh, Richard C Allen I don't I don't know him I, you probably don't know him uh, either not unless he he he's on our side <laughs> I probably <laughs> well I don't know uh, he says the church has a long way to go Oh, good. The Pope is to be praised for his courage in making confession of the sins of the church during the last two millennia. The sins are not insubstantial. Invasions by the Crusaders, torture and murder under the Inquisition, burning of heretics at the stake, the oppression of native peoples, complicity by silence in the Holocaust, and discrimination against women, Jews, homosexuals, and others. But along with praise must go the observation that the church continues to act questionably, for example, in the censorship of books, denial of academic freedom to teachers, sale, say, I like this one, sale of annulments and other indulgences. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Didn't you think that had already gone by the wayside, the indulgences? Evidently they haven't. The ban on birth control and denial of ordination to women. Can there be any longer the pretense of infallibility? Why haven't we found this gentleman? I don't know. <laughs> he sounds like our type. He sure does. Uh -huh. And this was just in March that he wrote this. Oh, goody, it's not yeah. too late. If you right. will refresh my memory. <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, I think we do agree that the media has uh, a lot to answer for in the way that they report the news and the way they slant towards the Christian religion. Always. You don't, yeah. You don't mm -hmm. see so much about Muslims unless it's, you know, mostly to criticize or to report what's really going on in mm -hmm. a country. But well, last night, much to my astonishment, I was watching a, a trash TV program called the Inside Edition, and they did a, a, a thing on psychics and how psychics uh, claim that they've solved many cases of abduction and murder and so forth, and they've worked with police departments and, and so on. And um, they interviewed some people who had paid these psychics thousands of dollars because their daughter had disappeared or whatever, someone was missing and they were feared to have, have been killed. And some of the psychics would just come right out and say, yes, I see his body, he has been stabbed through the heart or lying like rugs, but by golly, the program was right on. It said, you know, don't be taken. At a time, you're so vulnerable. Try not to be taken in by these people. They know from nothing. It said that uh, they have had interviewed some people at police stations about this, how many cases they had solved, and they said, forget it. And they spend, of course, uh, hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars following leads from psychics that turn out to be worthless. So uh, the old taxpayer payer is getting it again for this uh, superstition. Right. And I've seen programs where they they show how all these cases that the psychics solve and oh, yeah. so forth. It said the media yeah. give, they actually yeah. blame themselves. They said the well, media gives this, give this impression that the psychics are very successful. And it said, actually, no, they are not. So there was a, a big trash program, you know, that gets probably wide exposure, saying these things against itself in a way. In a way, Because yes. they, they admit it, they've done programs on that. Well, subject. I, I, I can believe And they that. said they do it because people love to see it. Well, I say baloney, whether they love to see it or not, let's not, you're, what you're doing is setting them up to go to that very solution. Should they ever have a problem like this with a, a child who disappears or a, a mate who And they vanishes. catch you at a time when you are vulnerable. Mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. Yeah, so. And this one poor woman whose daughter vanished, I think, 20 years ago, she has paid, she says, over... Uh, two hundred thousand dollars to wow. psychics, and uh, she. Uh, so at the end of the program, and they had James Randi on too. You know the great psychic buster from Florida. <laughs> oh, he's a keen guy. 
And he was on there being interviewed, and he said, oh, you know, it's a bunch of bills. And, and uh, for the first time, he got a little respect, I thought, from the media. And it was super. But they went back to this woman whose son had disappeared, or somebody, daughter, had disappeared 20 years ago. And they said, well, now you've confessed to spending 20, 20 did she say 200 or 20? Oh, gosh, over 200,000 was what she had spent. She's not rich. And they said, if someone came to you again and said that they could probably, and she, tears ran down her face, and she put her head down <laughs> oh. like this and said, yes, she'd pay another one. Oh. I mean, I guess hope never dies. No, but it doesn't. My God, you're yeah. dropping your money down a dark black hole. Stupid. And I think they have some of these programs where they're telling you that these things, that the psychics or what, whatever, you know, that they are uh, doing solving crimes and oh, yeah. so forth. Yeah, well, they give that impression. Yeah, they give Always. that. They mm -hmm. give that impression because people want, want to. Think. They want to think yes. about that somebody uh, fantasy is real. Yeah, yeah. I like to see fantasy myself, but I. But I know but it's I fantasy. Know, yeah, I want to yeah. know it's fantasy and yeah. and that it's not really true. But I don't mind yeah. seeing it. Yeah, one Christmas, Fred and I went down to the river, and they were doing the the barge with the Virgin Mary and Joseph and the baby and all that stuff, and whirling around that little lake thing, you know, in mm -hmm. the in the mall, mall downtown, whatever it's called, River City Mall. Yes. And um, and it was cute and quaint and darling, and I thought, oh, what a sweet little idea, what a you know little bit of history and you know this quaint custom these people have. And I thought, quaint custom hell, this is. <laughs> I am sitting here in 19 whatever it was 1995 and this these people believe this stuff but as long as I was sort of taking it in and it was quaint and kind of cute and a thing of long ago when people believe that nonsense uh, I really enjoyed it but then I thought oh it's they think it's for real and it sort of took the pleasure out of it yeah well I I like the story of the uh Virgin of Guadalupe, how it came about, but I can't believe it. No, of course you not. Know, it's, but it's, a, it's, sweet. Just, it's just a, uh, yeah, yeah a but sweet, all those things are sweet, sweet, story. sweet and to cheer yeah. you up. Um, now, any last cracks we can give here? I want to give one. Okay, and this is addressed to the letters to the editor section at the Express News. And there was quite a, an article, I think you saw it a couple of weeks ago, Linnell Burkett wrote saying how carefully they edit the letters. Yes. Or, now, what would you say about their editing? Was it very careful and meticulous and just as if you had submitted something for, you know, serious? Well, I think she takes an ax and then just chops it <laughs> wherever it falls. That's, that's well, cut out. <laughs> that was my impression of the editing at the Express News. So I'm sorry I don't buy that either. I think they are prejudiced. At one time, we had some nice free-thinking people down there who really enjoyed our letters and who printed us and gave us a fair shot. But I haven't had one in, I think it's been over four years. And that's a wrap, and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. I think as I please, and this gives me pleasure. My conscience decrees, this right I must treasure. My thoughts will not cater to duke or dictator. No person can deny, dig a sin fry. No person can deny, dig a dog and sin fry. My thoughts will burst free like blossoms in season. Foundations will crumble and structures will tumble. And free people shall cry, Dig a dog and sin fry. And free people shall cry, Dig a dog.